My name is Vladimir. I'm an action and adventure sports photographer working worldwide. Apart from commercial projects and photo shoots in studios, I mainly focus on shooting extreme sports. That's why you never know which conditions you're going to be working in. Sometimes you have to get to dangerous places like mountains, abandoned buildings, trees, rooftops and etc. And to be able to do all this, I always have to stay fit and doing parkour really helps me. I think because of that, I also like taking pictures of parkour in action. Let's dive into the process of my photography. Our first location is a big sand quarry, far away from a city. A huge benefit of places like this is that no one will ever disturb you there. No people, no cars, no attention to what you're doing. My main camera is Sony a7 III with their native lenses. Apart from a compact camera, I also very much appreciate easy to use and compact flashes that you can carry with you and easily adapt to any photography needs. Godox flashlights perfectly do what they're supposed to do. As you can see, there is two Godox AD200 Pro flashlights and one AD600 Pro in my kit. I control the light using Godox X-Pro TTL wireless trigger, special for Sony cameras. We didn't have just a regular location. That's why I had to improvise and run back and forth, putting the flashlights in different spots at the sand quarry. I wanted to make this photo for a long time, so let me introduce you to our plan. There is an athlete who will be jumping off a huge cliff, doing a flip and holding different color smoke bombs in each hand. Meanwhile, I will be standing beneath him, trying to capture the athlete in his best pose in the air. Have a look how the trick looks from the side. Impressive, right? Now let's have a look at the light setup. There are two AD200 Pro flashlights put to the sides of the athlete to highlight the smoke and his silhouette. And there is one AD600 Pro in front to highlight his face and clothes. The main challenge of all this was that we only had one try because the smoke bombs end up quite quickly and there was no chance to repeat the jump. In addition, the sound was quite low by then, which meant it was going to be dangerous for the athlete to perform the jump when it's dark. That's why, once I set everything up, we got started. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Next, let's move to Moscow, in a very touristy place, with an amazing view to Moscow city. I usually take two AD200 Pros when I travel, because they are light and they don't take a lot of space in my bag. In addition, they are powerful enough to shoot action in high-speed sync mode. I always use this mode no matter what I shoot, action or portraits. For example, AD600 Pro in this mode can overpower the sun, which is more than enough for me. The athlete is doing a trick from a little block, and the light setup is quite simple. One flashlight is hidden behind the block, highlighting his silhouette, and the other one is in front, highlighting his face and clothes. The flashlights are put on tripods and set to the needed level to easily be hidden from the shot. Unfortunately, I didn't have a third tripod with me, that's why I had to improvise and put my camera at a certain angle and take several pictures to remove people on the background from the photo in post. After a couple of test shots and test jumps, the photo was ready. You can take quite unique pictures in the streets of Riga. I used a very special lens for this shot, a Sony 600mm, which meant that I had to stand very far from the athlete and I was kind of scared that the trigger signal won't reach the flashlights. Luckily, Godox equipment did a great job with its strong signal, letting me work at a long distance from the flashlights. While the athlete was warming up, I was setting up the lights. The difficulty was that it was a very busy street with a lot of traffic. That's why we had to keep in mind that the timings had to be perfect in order to not disturb anyone. We put one car in front of another one to create depth with the foreground and hide the number plate. 
The athlete was doing a trick, trying to make a special pose in the air. During the trick, all three flashlights were working. The front one, AD200 Pro, was highlighting the face. The AD600 Pro was highlighting the silhouette from behind. Also, I placed the compact AD200 Pro in the car to create an interesting glowing effect. All of that I was capturing from a long distance. We agreed to give each other signs when we both were ready. And after I picked the right angle, we got started. <laughs> 